Hey guys, my name's Shu, and welcome back to Let's Play Drill Dozer. Not mad at Monogatari at all. Uh, here we are, back at the museum vault, which always seems just a bit too big for an art museum. I guess art museums have a lot of expensive stuff in too, but yeah. Anyway, you can go back this way if you want to, but um, yeah, just like most games, it tries to steamboat you, so... This lift doesn't work anymore, guys. Yeah, kind of sucks, but oh well. Continuing forward with one gear, which doesn't get us very far in those things. It's really annoying going through uh, the vents with only one gear. Or whatever these are meant to be called. I think that whatever they're called other way in. Yeah, elsewhere in the game. But there are only like, vents in this level. I don't really make sense of vents, because, I mean, there's no other way into, like, half of the rooms. I mean, where's the door? Where is it? Nowhere to be seen. Not, okay, this one no one's in, so I can kind of understand this maybe isn't, like, a proper room, although there are some stuff to, there's these things, and a chip box for some reason up there, but hey. But this place, there's no door here, and there's three policemen! How did they even get here? <sighs> oh well. This is the reason I'm not a game designer. <laughs> I, I, I like things to make sense too much. Anyway, new thing to this game. This is the, well, do you think that? I haven't seen this in any other game either, but I like to call that the Plasma Pac-Man section. Because, well, it kind of fits. You just gotta run away from it, and it, of course in this one it was just really easy. But later they do get a little bit more difficult. I think there are like two or three in this level. Can't remember. But there are some really quite difficult ones later in the uh, game, especially in the challenge levels. So, But saying that, they don't take off that much damage. So, unless you're playing hard, actually, unless you're playing hard mode, it's uh, not that much of a trouble. But as you can see, there's a, uh, there is a self-repairing door here, which we can't break yet. So, clearly, my reason for coming up here is, oh yeah, you can see it. Time to get... SUCKER Yeah, it's a little bit better with my, uh... My voice is having some time to rest, although I have to have a bit of a cold at the moment, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, continuing! Making doors and stuff. And now we have second gear, we can actually go through this level at a reasonable pace. Really annoys me going through these vents without second gear. And guess what, guys? More Plasma Pac Man. This one's even easier than the last, though. Ah! If you get it right. And uh, you can then get out of that. Yeah, you can go out of that door before he appears on screen. But I didn't make it. I made a mistake, and I thought I had third gear there. Whoops! Not yet, guys. Haha! <laughs> yeah, that will take at least two uh, goes, unfortunately. But still, steam vents. That's right, steam vents. These hurt you, because apparently our big, massive drilling mech is is quite weak to steam. Yeah, let's, let's not go into the logic, or you know, the fails of logic behind that, but hey. But this does mean we have some kind of timing puzzle in this game, other than the lasers. We don't really get that many timing puzzles in this game, because... Well, to be honest, uh, we don't really walk particularly fast. I guess we've got the dashing, which is uh, useful. But yeah, we don't walk fast, we don't really jump that, mu that fast, so... Unless they were to do timing puzzles with reverse spinning, which I guess they actually do do in the uh, challenge levels, but yeah. There's not really much. The, the timing puzzles really aren't very difficult, so just walking past at the moment. So, continuing. More breaking stuff. I guess there was that. Um, have, have you seen that? I think you've seen that with the lasers going off in sequence. That was, that was kind of interesting. By the way, we can't get hurt by this team because, well, we're 
I've never noticed that you can see her pigtails through the top of... When we're ducking like that. Wow. But yeah, we're, we're still too low to get hurt by that seam somehow. Despite the fact that seam kind of... Hurts us from the bottom. Which, you know, is... It's a big bit of metal, but oh well. Let's not complain about logic in video games. You won't see any slowdown, but there was a tiny lag for, of like a half second there, and yeah. It annoyed me! This is the annoyances of playing on an emulator. Plus, of course, it's better to play on a console because you get the rumble pack. And MORE TALKING! Yeah. This game doesn't have enough talking, apparently. The room that you just sneaked into must be the gas station. Isn't it snuck into? Is snuck a word? Oh well. It's the control room for opening the giant phone. If you turn that wheel, you can turn, turn the dials on the phone. You must turn each of the three dials in different rooms. This is the art gallery! Talk about heavy duty security! But, that, but the device itself is rather simple. The problem here is figuring out which and how many. With yeah, figuring out which way and how many times to turn the dial to the market. Unless you know that info, what's the point of being in here? Boss! Do you see anything in that room that could be a clue? Yes, guys, clues. That's what we were finding. And unfortunately, this game uh, likes to be quite simple. That's not a problem, although it, it's talking more about ninjas than thieves, because, you know, thieves in this game have big, massive, bulky mechs. But still, attention. Newly hired security guards. To open the vault, turn the red dial two times to the right and four times to the left. This is top secret info, so don't go blabbing about it to your buddies. Really, Game Freak? Really? Oh well, let's ignore that. Let's just continue, why don't we? Because there's more talking, that's why. Boss! The lock on the red dial hasn't been released yet. Look for a clue in that room that'll help you unlock it. Yeah, we, we found the clue, but we didn't want to use it, because it was so pathetic. I wish they'd, like, given some sort of... Well, I guess the first one doesn't need to have a good clue. But, yeah, you haven't seen the rest. I'll, I'll keep quiet. We've opened one lock. There we go. Two more to go, guys. Two more to go. And more talking! Excellent! The first lock has been released! Go check the next control room! Yeah, but we don't actually know where it is yet. Anyway, uh, continuing, as I was saying. And I love that bit. Just breaking through that pillar. I don't know why there's a pillar there, because that's a wall! But still, it's awesome. This bit, less awesome, though. Don't like you, Mr. Dog. Although, if you're going to do that, I, I don't mind so much. Why was he so easy all of a sudden? Oh, well. Because there's a rush section, guys! Yeah, if you haven't guessed by the, uh, the terrain, I guess. Yeah. Or me just spoiling it. Anyway, uh, just like last time, you want to be going down when, you, um, when you're drilling and ah! So I suppose you start hitting the floor and it's much harder then. So break this and you get some health, just in case you manage to get hurt in that rush section. But it's also useful for going through this door. Next time on Let's Play Drill Dozer. What, what's there? You'll have to wait and see. Keep them playing, guys. Keep them playing.